Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you five different tips to help you stay motivated to work out. Uh, I recently did my Snapchat Q&A, which was a lot of fun. It was really interesting because that was the number one question that I got from you guys was, how do you stay motivated to work out? And I wanted to do a video that went a little bit more in depth. I wanted to break it down into five easy to consume little tips. Um, so yeah, side note, I hate this lipstick. Because if any of you were gonna tell me that it wasn't, you didn't like it, I beat you to the punch because I also don't like it. Anyways, um, let's get into the video. All right, so number one, you have to get over the hump. If you're just starting to work out or maybe you're just getting back into it, there's always that initial period where you don't wanna go. So even me, like I'll take a week off and like getting myself to work out that first time again is always the hardest. But you have to push yourself through that first little hump because the second time's not gonna be as bad, the third time's not gonna be as bad. And before you know it, you have a routine and you're used to doing something and it's not as hard. You have to recognize that that resistance that you're feeling, that difficulty of like, oh, I don't wanna do this, I hate this, like it's not gonna last. So if you can just push through that little hump the rest of it's gonna be easier. Times when I've been not as on it, I was waiting for motivation to happen to me. I, I've talked about this before, but I've been waiting to feel like working out. So instead of waiting for motivation, you have to be your own motivation. Tip number two is to establish a routine. Now I finally have a routine where I wake up in the morning and working out is the first thing I do. Anytime I work out, I always do it the first thing. It's the first thing I do in, in that day. Not only because it's the hardest thing, but also because it reinforces healthy eating throughout the day. I'm gonna make smarter choices because it's all, it almost feels like, well, I don't wanna waste it. Like I put in this work and then you're gonna undo it by eating unhealthy. It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I've also like read a bunch of articles and listened to podcasts, like studying the habits of really, really successful people. And almost all of them work out every day in the morning. They wake up a lot earlier than I do though, you know, but I mean, we share that in common. When I first started working out, I worked out at night and I would be thinking about it all day and kind of dreading it. So now I like working out first thing in the morning because like I said, it, it's just, it sets a tone for the rest of the day and I'm not thinking about it, it's done and um, yeah. Also in terms of establishing a routine, you really have to prioritize working out. Sometimes when I get busy, I'll be like, oh, well, I'll work out when I have time and I don't really prioritize it. I'll like, yeah, it's like the leftovers. Like, oh, if I have time, like maybe I'll work out. Really, it's like when you're putting working out first, you're putting yourself first. All right, so number three is do exercises that you like doing. So like if you hate the Stairmaster, don't do the friggin' Stairmaster. This is super important because if you don't like what you're doing, you're not gonna wanna go to the gym. Focus on the exercises that you like doing. Like I have a few things that like I always hit when I'm at the gym um, that I like doing. Not that they're easy, but I, I like doing them. I feel comfortable doing them. I feel like I'm getting stronger. It motivates me to do it more. Obviously you wanna use your judgment because you wanna be well-rounded in your strength. I do kickboxing at least once a week, sometimes more, and I love doing kickboxing. And it's such a good workout. Like, I sweat so much. Like my clothes are soaked afterwards but I love doing it and it's fun and it doesn't feel like working out. So you have to find those things that you like doing and stick to that. I feel like classes are a really good way to like do fun things that don't necessarily feel like working out. So whether it's like kickboxing, um, I don't know, yoga, Pilates, like whatever it is, find what you like and then get into that. Number four, this is an important one. Stop caring what people think about you while you're working out. I promise you, everyone at the gym is only thinking about themselves. They're worried about what other people are thinking about them. I'm a super, super antisocial work outer person. Like I, if the gym is crowded or someone's even close to what I'm planning on doing, I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. Um, <laughs> but as I've gotten more comfortable in the gym, like I don't care now, I do what I need to do and I don't really pay attention to anybody else. I don't think anyone's paying attention to me and it's fine, but it's all in your head. So you have to like eliminate that feeling of like, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like people are gonna be judging me and just do what you need to do. In the beginning too, when I first started working out, like there'd be things that I didn't know. Like I wanted to ask someone like, how do I lower this friggin' bench or whatever, like small stuff. And I would be too afraid to ask. Now that I'm more comfortable and I don't care, I'll ask a question. I don't feel dumb and I do my thing. It's all in your head. 
get rid of that feeling. And once you do, you're gonna be able to do more, you feel more comfortable there and you get better results. Okay, so number five, the final tip, and this is probably the most important, is to think long-term and be patient with yourself. I've been conscious of my weight, like basically my whole life. And I started dieting when I was a teenager, doing crash diets, I've done cleanses, juicing, like everything. And what I've really learned is that those quick fixes don't work. You always end up gaining weight back. And um, really the best way to think about your health and your nutrition is you have to think about it holistically, like long-term, like this is the way I'm gonna eat for the rest of my life. I don't want to be an unhealthy older person. I wanna be healthy, like be strong. I recently discovered these fitness girls and they really, really changed the way I think about nutrition. And in particular, this girl, Jen Bready, she is um, recovering from an eating disorder. And I saw this one post about like, she went to the movies and she posted like a picture of her with popcorn. The caption was basically like, this isn't a cheat, this isn't a treat, like this is me at the movies eating popcorn and it's no biggie, it doesn't matter. I think like once I started like following these girls and like hearing their take on fitness, it really influenced me to be like, dude, this is long term. Like you just, you have to have balance in your life. Like I work out a lot and I work out hard, but if you don't change your diet, your body, you're not gonna lose weight. So like diet is just as important, if not more important than working out. Um, but working out definitely helps reinforce healthy eating habits. My kickboxing trainer is, I, I post him sometimes, like the videos, he's like, does the crazy kicks and stuff. He is like crazy, but he's also like kind of wise. But he always tells me, he's like, you have to love yourself. You have to put yourself first. And it's always like, yeah, that's great. Like that sounds real straightforward, like love yourself, obviously. But I think what he means by that is you have to put yourself first and you have to do the things that you know are good for you, like working out and eating healthy. And when you make a bad choice in a way, like you're denying yourself of the love that you deserve. Gym time has become me time. And I didn't feel that way a long time ago. Like I used to hate going to the gym. I used to hate running. Like when I first started working out, I couldn't even run like a block. Like my lungs were on fire. I felt like I had a fever for the rest of the day. Um, and when I would work out, I would go in the corner and I was afraid I didn't want anyone to look at me. And now when I go to the gym, I put on my music and it's me time. That's what motivates me to keep going is it's become like my thing, my time, my me time, and it feels good. So those were my five tips. I hope that they were helpful. Um, I don't know why, like I found myself feeling like real nervous talking about this fitness stuff. Definitely leave me any questions that you have down below in the comment section, any suggestions for other videos or stuff that you guys wanna talk about here on my channel. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos and I'll see you guys next time, bye.